Welcome back to another Rat Face 44 review. My name is James, and today we have the Swarm Sentry by Action Force Valiverse. And we're going to open it up, take a look, and we're going to compare it to the Swarm Trooper and the Scarabs. So let's get this started. All right, so I have my trusty scalpel. And we're going to open up from the uh, bottom like we usually do. All right, let's take a look. So before I uh, actually pull them out, <laughs> we're going to take a look at the packaging. Um, we looked at this before, you know, nice uh, plating uh, graphic here uh, with the fire, uh, Action Force logo, Swarm Century, 14 plus. You got something retracted there. Uh, you could pause the screen if you want to look, if you want to read that. I'll probably read these later. Um, yeah, uh, great uh, packaging art. Amazing, like flames in the background. Uh, this figure is gold and black. It's pretty freaking sweet. Uh, I'm excited to take a look and compare it to the uh, Swarm Trooper. And uh, I got the Swarm Gear Pack here for the Swarm Trooper. We'll open that one up. And uh, this is from the uh, Special Deployment Series. I also have the Swarm Trooper from uh, Series 1 that I have to compare to. So we'll open this one up too and we'll have a little bit of a, uh, a little opening up uh, session here. So let's get this open. A very cool packaging. Um, just love it. See, it's all taped on the inside here. Really strange. The cardboard taped right on the cardboard. So there it is. Plastic prison. We'll, I'll take this uh, out of the packaging uh, off camera here just to spare you some of the noise. Nice plastic on the top. Nice premium feel. Check it out. Awesome color, man. All right, so I'll take them out of the package and we'll take a look. Okay, so before we look at the figure, we got a, an excellent Action Force figure stand. It's all gold. This is like, <laughs> it's like a piece of gold. I love it. It's great, amazing. And uh, we'll go through the, the we'll go through the hands. The hands, obviously, I'm not gonna go too deep. We got cup hands. We got fists. We got triggers. We got holding hands. Standard. Uh, with all Action Force figures. We got the little tiny knife. I'm not sure what type of knife this is. Uh, let me know in the comment section what type of knife. Really cool detail. Little hand uh, finger grooves here. Really, really nice. Uh, looks deadly. Also, we have his sidearm here. I forget the name of this uh, sidearm. Really cool. It's uh, nothing really new, but uh, it's just the deco on here is uh, gold. And also we have the really cool uh, machine gun rifle. Uh, really freaking awesome. Um, really, it's still, it's the same as um, uh, the last uh, swarm. It's just like the uh, last one would had yellow deco. This one has gold and black. Really freaking cool. I love the color scheme of this figure. So let's look at the action figure, man. Really cool. Uh, I know it's a. Uh, I think it's the exact same mold. Don't don't quote me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure if this is the different factory or whatnot. A little uh, a little loose at the top, but not a game changer. Um, I'm not sure if this has the same problems as the series one, where if you try to take these clasps off, um, good luck trying to get it back on without. Uh, uh, potentially ripping it, which I did with the Series 1, unfortunately. I must have heated up a little too much um, and it ripped, but it didn't didn't really bother me. All they did is put some sticky tack and it kind of pressed it in. And that's the way it is. So let's look at the, at the, um, the deco of this uh, figure. Um, it, the, the gold and black are just excellent. I, I love the look of this figure. Um, 
basically the basically the uh, the same as the regular swarm, but the uh, gold is the yellow swapped out with a gold. Man, this thing is uh, premium looking. Uh, when I saw this go up, I was uh, kind of in awe of this figure, and I had to get two. So I have my kind of like officers of the swarm. These kind of the elite of the elite. There you go. I I said that again. They're like the officers of the uh, of the officers. You know. So let's go over the articulation a little bit. Uh, nothing really crazy. You know, it has the uh, the diaphragm uh, ab crunch here. Uh, like I said, it was a little bit loose, but nothing really crazy. You know, double jointed uh, elbows and knees. Butterfly goes pretty far back. Not 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 too much uh, head movement. You know, 360 of course. A little bit of an attitude. Uh, drop down hips, double jointed knees like I said. And um, one of my pet peeves is this uh, kind of ridge that goes over the ankle. It kind of uh, prevents it from moving a little bit more. I know it's not, uh, he's not Spider-Man or anything like that, but uh, it's kind of cool kind of detail in the, uh, in the ankles there. Uh, it gives it a armored cool look. Nice gold plating and black uh, trim. I'm going to take out the Special Deployment Series uh, Swarm uh, and we'll do a comparison and the uh, Series 1. Awesome. So let's gear this figure up with uh, some cool weapons. Let's uh, put the uh, rifle in his hand see how that works. Nothing, uh, nothing special. We do the same thing all the time on this channel. Let's just load them up. Fits like uh, fits like a glove. <laughs> fits like it fits like a rifle in the guy's hand. Let me fix that uh, finger. Check that out. Put the uh, little knife in the sheath. Upwards. Perfect. Put the uh, let's put the sidearm in here. Clips right in. Really awesome. Kind of wish they had the um, the Swarm Gear Set Gold. Also, I see people doing customizations by changing up the color scheme and uh, making it more uh, uh, making it color match better with the Swarm Sentry. So let's put the figure on the stand. That looks sick. All right, so let's uh, take the uh, the regular swarm out of its packaging. This color scheme is pretty cool. Looks like a bee bee color or wasp waspinator. Waspinator. And of course, it has a film on top. We'll take a really good uh, comparison with all three versions. Here we have all the same type of hands. Cup hands, holding hands, fisted hands, holding hands. I said holding hands. And uh, yeah, trigger fingers, <laughs> probably default on the figure. Same gun, or same rifle, sorry, but with uh, yellow and black. Same sidearm, yellow and black, really cool. And the tiny little knife. here's the figure special deployment series version of the swarm really cool well, let's put them on the figure stand and we'll do a little bit of a comparison so I've noticed that the the joints move a lot easier uh, with the the new version here uh, knees are like they move really really well compared to series one um, I don't know if I want to move around series one. It's it's really difficult to move. But that color just pops like crazy. Alright, so let's do a little bit of a comparison here. Check it out. Man, these characters are wicked cool. They look awesome together despite the contrast. But the black uh, really kind of matches up 
nice contrast between the two figures. Uh, he is the elite of the elite, and he's like the trooper. And I guess the, the scarabs are kind of like the, the ground troopers. A little bit below the, uh, the swarm. That's what I'm guessing. I haven't really read much, uh, any of the comics, unfortunately. I am going to definitely buy their paperback as soon as Bobby puts it out. Um, I'm going to put the um, swarm, the new Swarm gear set on the figure. So let's do that. And then we can, and then we can compare Series 1 with the special deployment. So I, I heard that uh, there was an improved peg on this uh, flight backpack type thing. It's really cool, man. I, this is <laughs> this is super cool. Love it. Check it out. So let's uh, let's put them on. Let's gear them up here. Got to make them uh, flight worthy. So let's try to line this. Web gear, there it goes. Fits right in. I didn't have any problems with my uh, series one. I just I knew. I just knew to take like special care. Uh, I wasn't gonna force anything. You know, I'm not in a rush. See the same the same kind of little bit of looseness, but it's that that's not a game changer for me. It's just you know that maybe it's because I had series one and it's super tight. So here's the uh, the figure stand. It's a clear one, so I get an extra one. I'll put this on something that I'll put it on something I really uh, need. It's, I don't think it's really necessary for all these fi the figure stands, but it just makes the the figures uh, a little bit uh, premium looking. Really cool a, a box art. Um, I think I have Swarm Gear Set is a little bit a different uh, box art. So here's the difference between the box arts, between the special deployment and series one. I never thought they would change up the box art, but that's a pretty cool detail. You can tell the difference between them. Really cool. A little bit of a different color, of course, with the flames. But the graphic is a little different too. The, the, the weapons are in a different position than the Check that out. Cool. Nice little detail. So let's get this uh, shield out and the, uh, the weapons. Awesome. Comes with this grenade launcher. Same like the same grenade launcher. I think it came with. Did it come with the uh, the scarabs and the barrel rolls? Nice little detail. Comes with the little submachine gun. This is pretty sick. I love this weapon. Awesome. And the shield. I wonder if there's a difference between... Not much difference between the Series 1 shield and this shield. It's the same thing. Looks pretty the same. Maybe it was constructed a little differently. I see the gray is a little bit lighter on the special deployment. Been on the series one. It was a little dark. I don't know if it picks up on the camera. So I'm gonna put the shield in his hand. All right. So I swapped out the uh, trigger hand for the holding hand. Uh, I think that would be uh, apropos to do that. But if it's really good in his hand, it stays up. Check that out. That's pretty freaking sweet. Put him in the stand a little bit. Yeah. Awesome. Put this up a little bit higher. Wicked. Straighten them up. So here's series one. I'll move the shield out of his uh, out of the way. And we'll do a uh, side by side comparison. Really cool, exact. I can see at the bottom of the jetpack, there's more blue on the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me just get the camera to focus. 
a little bit more blue on the, the exhaust or the jet or whatever you want to call it here than on uh, the special deployment. See the, I don't know if it picks up on camera or not, but that's what I've noticed. I know the difference between the both because I tore I tore the web gear that he was on here with the uh, I heated it up a little too much. You can't really I can't even tell actually, but I think I need to swap out his hand with a holding hand because he's a little bit loose on, on holding the shield. But uh, that's just uh, my little review of uh, my, the Swarm and the, the Swarm Sentry. Um, I'll have some glamour shots at the end. So I'll have a montage at the end of my uh, review uh, with the Swarm Sentry and the Scarabs. I'll have them all kind of lined up and you can take a look at how they uh, match up. Uh, I think they look, obviously, they look freaking amazing together. Thank you all for subscribing. I appreciate it. Um, I just reached 300 over 300 subscribers. It's awesome. I, I wouldn't even think anybody would have subscribed to my channel in the first place. Uh, it's pretty funny, and uh, I'm excited. Um, and thank you all. Uh, I appreciate uh, all you guys commenting and uh, liking my video. And uh, subscribe and Yojo Action Force AF and Cobra.